Hey, hey, Isaac Cruz gets the call for Tank. Are we excited? Yeah. Uh, who? Push the weight in the flex, flex. The live is one in the six. Hey. Fit the runner boy, you nigga, no question. Yo. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Yo. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey. Motherfucker never learned your lesson. Right. Hey. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. Uh, 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 I mean, they walk the drink blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a whole brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Yep. There you have it. Because everybody was checking for this, man. Yeah. We excited about this? Yep. Isaac Cruz. I mean, people barely knew who Roley was. Other than the fact that he has a high-pitched voice and partially illiterate. So we pull up uh, Isaac Cruz. Don't act like you know who he is. Don't even do it. Because a lot of you barely knew who Roley was. You know when you started noticing who he was? When he began to display ridiculous behavior on social media. Talking about only fans and everything. And then he gets up there on an 80 degree weather day and a day when it's 80 degree 80 degrees outside to wear a, a fur coat with no shirt on that's when you caught hit that's when uh he caught your eye so now he has legal problems and i'm not gonna joke about that that's serious i'll clown about a lot of things but not what he's going through that's serious and i hope he's not guilty but never mind that Isaac Cruz, the pit bull. I know who he is. I know who he is. And this is no disrespect to him. But let me bring you guys up to speed. I got him looking at his box rec right now. 22 wins, 15 KOs, one loss. Career started in 2015. Majority of his fights are in Mexico. Oh, look at this. In 2017, he fought a guy that was 24 up, 34 down, four draws. I'm not even going to get into it, man. This guy's made a career fighting in Mexico. Really, you know, okay, fine. 2019, makes it to the Barclays. He won a unanimous decision. Then won a majority decision. And then uh, had a KO and then two unanimous decisions. So it seems like as soon as he came to the United States, the competition got a little more difficult, although he's been winning. So you got UD, UD, KO, and a majority decision in a UD. He has one knockout since he came to the Snakes. The person he knocked out was 32-3. and three. That was Diego Magdaleno. Okay, he, his last fight was against Isaac Cruz. But um, hey, here's a fun fact. He also lost to Teofimo Lopez in 2019. Then he won a UD against Austin Dulé and then lost to Isaac Cruz. How about those apples? Hey. 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 He is five foot four, 63 inch reach from Mexico. Elias the Pitbulls, 23 years old. Uh, Google him. Put him on YouTube. He has a highlight reel. You know, he's a short, stocky guy. Um, no nonsense. Uh, comes in, throws sharp punches on in, in the pocket. Hooks to the body. Hooks to the head. Reminds me of a Mexican Ricky hat. There's nothing flashy about him. Other than when he's whooping your ass, he, he usually folds people. But I'm looking at that record. And I'd be lying to you if I told you I recognized everybody on there, because I don't. But what I just told you was when he came to America, he said one KO and the fights in between, it was a, a majority decision and a unanimous decision. 
Let me look at it again, just so you'll know. Francisco Vargas, UD. Jose Matias Romero, UD. Diego, and I'm working backwards. Diego Magdaleno, KO, Thomas Matisse, majority decision. Miguel Angel Perez, UD. And now that, that was 2019 when he first came to America. So it seems since he came to the States, the competition's gotten a little more stiff. Now he gets a tank fight. Now here's my question, because I was I was I was wondering this morning. Can I ask what the hell Floyd Mayweather's doing? And and this isn't a video to discredit and disrespect Isaac Cruz. I've watched him. He looks like a fun guy to watch when he's matched appropriately. He looks like one of those guys. You match him up appropriately, a mid-card guy. You put him against the right opponent. He'll get a lot of oohs and ahs from the audience. Build him up. Match make him correctly. But clearly, based off of what I've seen, he can clearly be outboxed. That's my opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. But never mind that. Why is this guy getting the call? Is anybody talking about him? When Roley went down with that problem, and good luck to him, and when he went down with that problem, nobody said Isaac Cruz. Payday, payday. He gets payday. I know that. Shout out to Isaac. More than likely, he was sitting at home like, huh? Me? I'm going to make the best of it. Go for it. I'm not taking no shots at Isaac. Don't get this video confused. But I was just saying this morning, Devin Haney. I mean, what am I missing here? They were just talking about Jojo Diaz, and I didn't understand that. What are you doing, Floyd? What are you doing, Floyd? How you came up, coming to the ring wearing sombreros, playing off of the Latino fan base, that's old. It's been done. You did it. Then they're done that. It's different now. I'm not going to be on Bob Arum's bumper for trying to uh, uh, milk the Mexican audience and line your pockets and talking about, hey, Bob, you're undermining the black dollar. When you're doing the same thing, Floyd, you're undermining the black dollar with your black ass. So you're going to pull this kid from wherever nobody was checking for him. And it's no disrespect to him. But Roley fell out. We said, yo, De Devin, man. Hey, man, look, Gary Russell is cold right now. He's cold right now. Go get Gary. Gary Russell, Devin Haney. You get Isaac Cruz. You know, when things like this happen, all I could say is, Tank, you better do what everyone's picking you to do. No one knows who Cruz is, but I watched those films. In one mistake, this kid's going to try and get you out of there. Can he do it? I don't know. Everyone's going to go with no. This kid is going to be like an underdog like you couldn't believe. But this is boxing, and the year's already been weird. How crazy would it be if he goes in there and fights on the inside? Go look up this kid, Isaac Cruz. How crazy would it be if he goes in there, gets on the inside, and throws something, and rocks Tank on the side of his temple, and he don't recover? Then what you going to do? This is boxing. Things like that happen. Was Vernon Forrest supposed to lose to Ricardo Mayorga? No, he just beat Shane Mosey twice. That was supposed to be a showcase fight for him to show us how good he is. Nope. Literally, my yoga said, hold my beer. To all my Latinos, how do you say hold my beer in Spanish? Please put it in the comment section. Literally, hold my beer. The man drinks and smokes and he didn't have it. He didn't hide it. And just like that, we got to know Ricardo Mayoga. Didn't beat Bernie once, he beat him twice. 
Now here we have a situation where Roley messed up and he has something he has to handle. And now enter Isaac Cruz, whom I know who he is, but this is the last person I thought that we get a phone call to replace Roley Romero. Not when you got Devin Haney sitting there and you got Gary Russell sitting there. What's the difference between Bob Arum and Floyd Mayweather? What's the difference between how they're moving? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Only difference is Floyd fought for a living. Bob didn't have to. But they're on the same side of the spectrum. Both disrespecting our dollar. So... I guess, shout out to Isaac Cruz. This is your opportunity. Make the best of it. And I wouldn't be mad if he gives us something to laugh at that Sunday. <sighs> F you, Floyd. F you with a lit flare. Bronx on deck.